hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about middlewares so what is middleware in laravel so middleware are nothing but the access or a control thing okay so for example if you click on post you can see that it's not going to post it's going to login so this is nothing but your middleware which has come over here access control so when it is authenticated or user is logged in only then only he can reach to his posts for example if we click on employee you can see directly he have inserted because it has not given a middleware or a access control so the same way we are going to create a middleware for only for few users like admin for example we will take as admin thing okay so basically as normal register and login so let us login with with that gmail.com password login now you can reach to post okay so now this with prakash has logged in now let us try to login with om prakash so let's click on post om at gmail.com you can see that om has logged in successfully okay so but i need only ved prakash should log in to this post and any other user should not log in so guys for that we are going to create a middleware so let's log out and start with the apply project so let's move open your terminal give a command php artisan make colon middleware where i am going to tell admin middleware hit enter middleware created let's go to app http middleware you can find admin middleware let's click on this and save let's kill this terminal so guys you need to write some code over here let's comment this and just type with the if condition first you need to check the authentication authentication check if it is authenticated so let's import this class guys auth so this is the class which we are using auth and then let's use another if statement where i want to tell authenticated user if his, the user is logged in and his role as is double equal to 1 okay so he's one means admin will be so let's specify that you zero is user one is equal to admin right and after when he is logged in that time what you have to do let's copy this and paste let's give else return and redirect with status we will send the message over here access denied as you are not a admin not an admin okay let's save and then if he is not on 38th then what you have to do give a else condition if the authentication is not checked that time you need to return the message as please log in first save and now guys we need to see this role as from where is coming so this auth is nothing but your users table so let us move to our model inside this model user.php file is there so let's call that users role as so let's copy this and paste over here role as and then let's go back to our dashboard so let's click on the structure and now let's add one column so after remember token i am going to add one column which is role as and it will be tiny integer 
where I'm going to give the length as two and we will accept that default zero. So whenever anyone register, it should accept with zero and accept this null. Okay. And let's save this. So guys, this is altered. So whenever you try to access this login authentication, it will call that column. So let's close this user.php. And now when we have created this admin middleware, we need to register it somewhere. So let's move to what we say kernel.php. So inside this kernel, you need to move below at the route middleware because we are going to use in the route. So let's copy the same thing and we will edit it. We will tell is admin HTTP middleware. You need to call your admin middleware. So this middleware path you have to call app HTTP middleware admin middleware of its class. That's it. So let's save guys and go to our web route routes web.php over here. So you, you are using this auth middleware, right? For this post. So whenever anyone try to access this post, which means this post, let's click on post. Whenever you access, that means it's needs an authentication. So because of that authentication is coming. Now I want to add admin only should access that post. So let's add this with the auth. You are going to add this is admin. Copy this and paste over here. That's it. So let's save and let's get back guys. Let's click on post. You'll be redirected to login and after login where you have to redirect to this post. So for that, let's go back to our login controller app HTTP controller auth inside your login controller. Let's move over here to redirect function. You need to write the code over here. So let's comment this and what code you're going to write over here inside your authenticated user. You can find one function. Let me just authenticated. Let's see that. See here guys. So let's copy this function. Okay. So let's close this, copy that and paste below this as simple. And now guys, you need to create we are not going to request any request from here we are going to directly check that let's type if condition if authenticated user his role as is equal to single quotes one so if it is the admin so one is equal to admin then what you have to do return return and redirect with status where you have to go welcome admin will give okay so where you will be redirected to post slash posts so which means this URL posts okay so over here and if you're not if you're not an admin then let's use else if condition see we are going to copy paste and then you are going to allow here zero so zero is equal to user where he will be redirected to home page okay home page and we'll give his message as logged in success yes u c c e s s successfully so let's check the admin middleware once okay perfect oops we didn't give the path so let us give the path over here to slash home and if he is there we will give here as return and redirect back as simple let's save and now guys let us move again over here to check that okay everything is working fine you can move this to home not on the home page save and now guys let us test this so first 
let's go to our database and change the role let's move for this way that gmail.com we are going to give the role as one one means admin okay zero means user let's go let's try to access with Ved first admin with at gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight nine click on login okay we have face editing okay auth is not found inside your controller which is login controller so let's move that okay so this is my login controller let's import this class at top so this is the class auth let's minimize and refresh again with at gmail.com dot com one two three four five six nine click login so you will be redirected to post okay you can see that welcome admin and yep guys so let's move log out and login as a common user so this is zero role is status as zero and this is home at gmail.com so let us try to give your home at gmail.com one two three four five six seven eight let's click to login you can see logged in successfully because he's a normal user he redirected to home now let us try to access the post page let's click on it you can see access denied as you are not a admin perfect so guys we have seen how to use a middleware in laravel 8 so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video with the new topic so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share